Welcome back. If you just joined us, our guest on this episode of Question Time is the Director General of the National Orientation Agency, Dr. Gaba Abari. Don't go away. Now let's look at the effort of the federal government and the understanding of the federal government on the economic sta status of the nation. Now, the, there seems to be a discordant tune in the approach of the two major institutions, financial institutions in the country, the CBN and the Ministry of Finance. What is the actual position of the federal government on the economic sta status of the nation? I think it's not actually at each, they are not at, the two agencies are not at each other's throat. Perhaps they, are, they just have uh, differences in their, in, in their interpretation of the economic situation of the country. But it is not going to impact any uh, negatively on what measures government is putting in place. Definitely, you know, that there are quite a number of measures that government has put in place, which, is, uh, which are actually impacting very, very positively. We have blocked, government has blocked leakages. Government is, uh, is running a lean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is a policy of running a lean government. Expenditure, parabolous expenditures are being, are being stopped. Uh, goods, <laughs> goods workers are, are being eased off the, the, the payroll, and gradually there is a shift from preponderance of overhead, meaning recurrent to capital spending. And one of the ways that government is also uh, trying to, uh, to, to exit recession is to ensure that in the budget it is being pre that, is, that it is preparing now is to ensure that the, the, that the heavy spending ministries are actually allowed to spend as much as they could in order to create jobs. So these are all things that are, that are, that are making, uh, pos uh, that are impacting positively, you know, on measures being taken to exit recession. And for a very long time, for a very, very long time, the contribution of agriculture to GDP has risen to, in 2016 alone, to about, to, to more than, about or more than 5%. This is something that actually is quite encouraging. The issue of, uh, 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 food sufficiency, self-sufficiency in food, you know, is very critical. Not only for the well-being of the citizens, but also even for the sovereignty of the nation. Some are of the opinion that the pace of delivery of this administration is rather too slow. I am not sure if the pace of delivery are, uh, is, 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 is any slow. We are actually making headway. And a very serious headway for that matter, given the circumstances in which this country... Act Look, before 2015, this country actually was decomposing. The country was decomposing. The country was dead and was decomposing. It was decomposing. Is it our values? Is it our politics? Is it our economy? Is it our religion? Is it every aspect of our national life actually had completely, completely gone towards the abyss? Let's now look into the anti-graft war of the federal government. There's been allegations that the anti-graft war has been mostly selective. Could you put things in the proper perspective? I don't know what is selective about the war against corruption. Because they believe that some people, who, some people within the rank and file of the APC are moving about freely without being interrogated. Oh, of course, and there perhaps. Been clear allegations of corruption against them. Ah, because because if, 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 if there have been, definitely, if there are such kind of people, and the cases born and, 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 and primo, pr, pr, what, what is it? Definite cases have been established against them. Like all others that have been accused, or have been accused, they will have their case in court. They certainly will have their case in court. What do you make of the recent arrests of some judges by the DSS? I am absolutely in support. This country needs to be cleansed. All these human rights groups that are making noise about it, they are, they are about the rights of man, and there is no, there is no country that can defend any right when justice is on the plate for sale. Some of the judges have cried out that they are being unnecessarily victimized and this is a political witch hunt, considering the fact that they are sitting on some sensitive cases in which the federal government and some APC has a stake in. 
It's not any judge that is presiding over any case that is the federal government is not. If there is any judge that is presiding over a case, he must be presiding over a case in which Nigerians will be interested and not the federal government. They are not, they are not serving the federal government. These judges are serving Nigeria. And if they do breach the, 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 the mandate and the trust, definitely they are not serving the larger interests of our country and they must be dealt with according to the laws. Some of the judges have, have even alleged that some members of the APC and even some cabinet members made an attempt to bribe them. This is actually the cry of the drowning man that catches at a straw. These judges are going to have their days in court. Let them go and prove that. But definitely this is the the, the cry of the dying man and the why, whatever kind of straw he, that comes his way, he catches at it. The manner of arrest of the judges have elicited some controversy. Um, while the DSS is claiming that it was a snake operation, some people are saying that that was actually a Gestapo operation that was very undefeating of someone of a, judge's, uh, of a judge status. What, makes, what makes any judge any more superior Nigerian than the other. What is, what is it that places a judge in any higher pedestal than you, Benga, or any other person for that matter? Why should there be infractions and the laws should not be applied to them? There are clear cases of infractions that are being investigated prior to that time. Had they been, had, had they been arrested prior to that time? Had anybody gone to their houses prior to that time? Had anybody actually flung any, 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 any accusation against them? No. The DSS must have been working on information made available to it. And uh, like I have told you, there is no society that is safe. There is no society that can make progress. There is no society that can know peace where justice is on the plate for safety. Recently, the federal government launched the Change Begins With Me campaign. How does this address the problems confronting the nation from power, transportation, the aviation sector is in a state of, uh, is begging for desperate intervention, and also the economy? The change begins with me is exactly some of the issues that I have addressed at the commencement of the interview. All of us must have to sit down and reassess ourselves. What is it that, is, that we do at the end of the day that will either add value or distract the country? As individuals, as head of households, as drivers, as teachers, as civil servants, as media men, as leaders from top to bottom, we have lost so much of our values. Everybody is, is talking about that. But nobody, no, we, we, we only all lament. But if you change, and I change, and the leaders themselves change, and they lead by example, we all follow in line. And that is why the change is beginning with them, and it must change with them. Before we wind down this conversation now, looking ahead of 2019, what should Nigerians expect from this administration, what will be the greatest legacy that we should expect? A sane environment. A society, a society where system should work and the laws must be applied. Societies can go without, godlin without, well, I mean, uh, without go godliness. They can go without godliness. No society can go without laws. And what Nigerians need is actually a change. All of us, all of us, but most importantly the leaders, all they need is a change in their perception of what public office is all about and what public trust means. And then Nigerians too themselves must have to change. Dr. Garba Abari, thank you for making our time to be part of this episode of Quick. Thank you, Benga. Thank, you Pleader. thank you so much. How would posterity preserve the account of stewardship of the President Buhari's administration? For now, it's 17 months in power and about two years ago in this tenure. At the end,
Nigerians will be there to pass the verdict if this administration has actually done well or not. For now, the clock is ticking, and how the government chairs the affairs of this nation is being recorded as a reference point. And that's it on this episode of Question Time. You may also send us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru. Bye for now.